Hey, people, people. This time we're going to the underwater cave. Last time we took out Muscle Tower. So, without further ado, let's get going. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna be doing this weekly, as you guys know. Um. Wow, I'm just a little tired today. Um. Went through Bulma, fixed the dragon radar. She's waiting for us, and we get to take out Colonel Blue. And there are people shooting at us. Huh. Okay. And here we go. Alright, running through the cave. And we have more flying enemies. If you couldn't tell, I absolutely hate flying enemies. They're not really that good. So, yeah. Flying enemies give me the most damage in this game, and uh, that's not a lie. I mean, granted, there are a few things that do give you a lot of damage. And uh, I'm going to be going through this one more time after, you know, after the recording, so I can take care of this direction. Because, uh, yeah, um, I didn't actually go this way. And I do like that the enemies can actually be hurt by both other enemies and uh, other things. The fact that it said go, go, go kind of made me not want to go that way. Don't ask me why, I'm not even sure, but it's the truth. I didn't want to go that way because of flashing go, 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 because it was telling me to go that way, I thought it was the right way to go. And it might have been. It might have been wrong. I don't know. Well, yes I do. I wouldn't be recording this right now if I didn't know. Alright. Drop kick. I hate the fact that uh, most of your moves in this are just not able to hit people and things, and they spawn people where you can't actually hit them. Those are a couple of things that I wish would actually change. I don't know what's down that hole, and I don't care to, because it looks like death. They do a good job in this game of actually making death look like death. What, but by what I mean is uh, black. Black is bad in this game. Uh, not entirely, but if you understand what I mean. Except for, yeah, it's so actual black space, whenever you see it, usually bad. This, not so bad. Um, I'm also going to try and go up here. I can't uh, really tell you if I can make it, but uh, you'll see. Not quite. Yeah, it's uh, built just high enough to where I can't actually jump up there. They did a very good job of limiting me access. So instead I gotta go this way. And uh, with that in mind, Again, death looks like death, that looks like something. Plus, going up is always better than going down. In this game. Up is a better direction. So, uh, keeping that in mind, I'm gonna beat this guy up. <coughs> <coughs> ah, help! Yeah, screwed that one up. Sorry about the sneeze. Um, three, four... Ah, screwed it up on the last jump. Okay. One, two. Shh. That's, like I said, that's actually a lot harder than it seems. Also, there are items in the background, in case you couldn't see. Swords, uh, and, uh, swords and helms and other things. And I am never going to use that. Ah, oh, I missed the apple. Let's see what's up here. Ow. Um, second time through, I'm gonna know that that's actually 
that the health is there, so I'm going to save it until after going through here. Because, yeah. And, yay, an extra continue. Continues, always good. Always. Hate bats. They're the most damaging thing to me right now. I think I just got a cheeseburger. Okay, camera down. I also noticed that there was a way down there. Uh, okay. Door going nowhere, so I guess I gotta go down. Hey, what do you know? He didn't have any food. And if he did, it doesn't matter right this instant. Ow. Uh. Also, if you jump on those, that's what will cause the spikes to come up. So it's smart to kind of stay out of the way. Because otherwise they'll come up. Also, if you can time your hit, uh, time getting hit on those, those are actually probably a good way to anti-air. And, uh, yeah. Perfect timing on that. Invincibility and extra damage. And, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. This is actually a pretty long level, but th all the levels are actually getting fairly long. So it's not really a big, big deal. Just gotta try and keep yourself from taking too, too much damage, which I'm not doing a good job of at all. Okay, gotta go over here. What's in here? Nothing. Over here. And nothing, nothing. Hey, what do you know? Way to go. Alright, take you out and magical potion of healing. Yes! Since there was nothing in any of those, I don't have to worry about it. Um, I think I saw a ledge there, but if I, even if I did, I don't think I can reach it. Okay, that one's dead, this guy's dead, this guy's dead, and I got an apple. Alright, perfect. Alright, really hate these guys. Okay, let's see if I can destroy these barrels. Nope. I will destroy that camera, though, because that would have followed me throughout the rest of the level. Oh, this boss. Um, I don't know if you have to fight it or not. I think you do. But, uh... Uh, I hate invincibility flashes, as you guys could probably tell. Ow. Also, don't be touching it whenever, uh, the, uh, tail goes, because even if you catch the tail end, no pun intended, it will catch you and electrocute you. Yeah, because you can get up there, and it doesn't seem to hurt you to do so. And I really hate this thing. Okay, 1500. But it wouldn't have let me go on, I already know that, so I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. Fuck you, camera! And you too, red guy. Okay. Now, this is the most annoying part of this level. Because if I haven't mentioned yet, these cameras love to fly directly out of range and shoot you with bullets. Not the most damaging thing, but look at how many there are. Yeah, that was a worthwhile expenditure to me. I missed another freaking apple. And I hate spending those gauges, honestly. But yeah, that was crowd control, that's AoE. It was necessary for that part. Okay. 
And red guys. Great. Okay. Get back on screen. Okay. Run away. Run away. Why? Another one. Run away. That guy seemed to explode faster. It's not fair. You got more freaking health than I actually got from eating the burger. Thank you for the apple. That repaid me for all the health you drained. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm getting tore up right here because so many people just firing bullets and that, uh... That, uh... Those cameras aren't helping any. Now, thank you. Give me that apple. <sighs> wow, I got messed up there. Okay, at least I made it to the next area. And I'm getting close to the end of this level. Ow! I can't take any more of those hits. Thank you for the apple. Two more apples, good. I mean, it's barely a holdover, but still, it's something. And there's a little more. Hey, what do you know? Yeah. Why not? Bam. Okay. Ah, crap. Okay, bats. Ah, oh, fuck. That's not good. And I jump into him. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, video games. Let's go. Ow. This time, full health, I can make it. I can do this easy as pie now. Yeah. Come on. Quit, quit flying into the fucking geometry of the level. Uh. Yeah, sometimes this game will aggravate me. Like here. Level design made sense. Actually, believe it or not. And uh, even these tunnels make sense. But they're obviously just enemy spawners and won't lead anywhere. So I'm not even going to try to go up them. But hey, I got another uh, continue. What do you know? Yeah, i got to get away from there. Alright, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, roast turkey. I'm not going to complain, it's turkey. Either that or it's chicken, but no, it's way too big to be a chicken. It's turkey. It means full health for me going into the boss. And, uh... It's General Blue. Ah, uh, Blue. Or is it... It's not General, it's Colonel. Colonel Blue. <laughs> uh, this guy's actually a pretty big pushover in the early stages. Later, he starts to pull some of the shenanigans that he did in the anime. But, uh, in the early stages, this guy just, he's a damage sponge. Until he starts to use his psychic powers, he's a damage sponge. Even after he starts using his psychic powers, he's a damaged sponge. Look. Bam. And here I get hit because I don't, or even though I don't even need to. Here, just showing you how easy it is to get out from under his attack. Because he doesn't do anything. It's not even hard to escape until he starts doing that. Again, he's a damage sponge, and that time he freezes me. 
like I said, this is some of the stuff that he actually pulled in the show, which is why he was a dangerous person. But really, look at how much health I have, look at how much key gauge I have, and he's just trying to beat me on his own merits. He's not even doing as good as the, uh, as the one ice monster did in the last video. Yeah. General Blue, kind of a twat. Colonel Blue. Colonel Blue. Cave collapses, you escape, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Pretty much it. And we find the three-star ball, which is... Oh, it's not Grandpa! Yeah. I also prefer the earlier dub is, uh, dubs of the... Uh, of the show, where it wasn't actually the new Gohan voice, but the old one. Well, something like that. I prefer the older dubs to both DBZ and this, is what I'm trying to say. Probably would prefer the subs, but uh, I haven't seen them. Don't really care either. And now it's Mercenary Tao. And here's where I have a ton of egg on my face. But at the same time, can you really blame me on it? And, uh... Honestly, this uh, match is pretty much unwinnable because of his habit of teleporting and uh, just guarding. He only needs like two things to hurt uh, to kill you. He does a lot of damage right now, and it's not as big of a difference as you and Jackie Chun, really, as far as spirit gauge goes. And he doesn't really use his stuff that often. And there, that's the end. Because you can't Kamehameha him in this state. Because he will always after image. And if he after images, you're kinda fucked. You're taking damage. And since you only have one bar of health, it kinda tells you you're fucked. Yeah. Now you have to get the Dragon Balls to save Upa's father. And he climbs the tower. And then he grows, then he trains with Corrin. Which doesn't take too, too long. I mean, it takes like maybe a week in the show. So they... Yeah. Maybe a couple of days, actually, because he's just trying to get the sacred water. Yeah, this is actually a uh, little bit... It's easy to figure out once you get uh, the controls down, but it's really kind of difficult to guess where he's going to be, and uh, grabbing him's not as easy as you would think because it's it's basically like you have to be incredible at this fighting game or fighting system it's uh yeah it's it's all about the yomi and that was probably a cat or a rat wonderful Yeah, he, uh, he teleports around a lot. And I haven't found a way to lose these things at all. So, th this is basically a supposed to pass. And you drink the water, and it's not really the water that helps you out. It's catching Corrin. Which, if you guys could do it better than I can, absolutely, go ahead, 
show me. But it's really not a big deal. And now Mercenary Tau. Mercenary Tau gave the Red Ribbon Army the uh, the Dragon Balls, and now it's all about the fighting, the one v one fighting, and it's actually easier than uh, than uh, whenever I face Jackie Chun because I have another life bar to work with. I can actually get a little bit uh, fancier with it. I also don't really need to be conservative of everything else because I build meter run a ton faster because I have three now and uh, I also have a more damaging special move because I do 9-10 hit combos at 20 apiece and he still just guards but it's really not that hard to beat him. And that comes partly because of how simplistic the fighting style is, and the fighting system is. It's basically a rock paper system, the scissor system, and it's uh, and it's fairly good at what it does. It's just really easy to get into, but hard to master. And I haven't needed to block really once. I probably could have in the first time and save myself a little bit, but blocking doesn't really seem to do much. Unless you're just guarding, in which case you get counterattack opportunities and they can end up doing the same. It ends up being kind of like a combo breaker system. Anyway, I'm going to be off for this episode. This episode's gone on a little bit long, so I will let you guys go. I will see you guys later on the next episode of... Diablo actually is when I'll see you guys next. But uh, if you're just watching DBZ, I'll see you on DBZ. But DBAA. Bye.